Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and in today's episode of my Studio One 3.5 series, we're going to look at applying track names to channels when you are working with instrument tracks. So something like a drum kit of some kind. So you could do this with contact, you could probably do this with empty power drums, you could do this maybe with superior drummer. Um, but I'm using Impact in Studio One. So, here's how it's done. As you can see, I've got nice, neat track names up here. Kick, snare, and hats. But down here, in the mixer, it says Impact Stereo 1, Impact Stereo 2, Impact Stereo 3. I would like these three names here to appear at the bottom here. Now, I could just go in and manually change each one of those and hey presto, it would, it would match up. But there's an easier way, and there's a better way, my opinion. I'm going to show you how to do it. You will need the inspector open, and then what you will need to do is you will need to click on the first track that you want to, to change, and you will note that in here, in the channel, it says Impact Stereo 1. That's correct. That is the correct assignment. Then you click on the next one. Notice that the channel here is Impact Stereo 1 as well. We want this to correspond to this channel here, Impact Stereo 2. And I'll show you why, because this is where the snare appears when we play the track. Okay, so clearly the snare is appearing here on channel 2. So we want to make sure that it is correctly assigned. So we assign it to Impact Stereo 2. Next up is the hats. Now we know from just playing the track there that the hats appears on channel 3. So we want to make sure that this is, is set correctly. At the moment it says Impact Stereo 1. So let's set that to Impact Stereo 3. Now that they are all correctly assigned, we go to the first track, we hold shift, and we click the last, and then what we do is we go to track, and we go to this new feature here, apply track names to channels, and when I hit this, boom, they now wonderfully match up. Kick, snare, hats, kick, snare, hats. Beautifully simple, very, very cool little feature. It will make life a lot easier for all of you drum programmers out there. Uh, and it will just make for mixing when you've completed your drum programming a lot easier because now you can process each one of these channels and you know exactly what it is rather than just having a whole bunch of impacts listed along here because you could have drums, you could have percussion, you could have hand claps, you could have all sorts of samples that you have running through impact. That's the way you can assign all the, all the correct names to those tracks so that never again will you get lost in what you're working with and have to go and check what is assigned to what. So there you go. Applying track names to channels in Studio One 3.5. I hope you found this helpful, and until the next video, bye for now.